one. It's Cecilia from Colored Pencil for Beginners and Beyond Facebook group. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about colored pencils. Everybody always asks me, which is the best colored pencil? And I never know what to say. It really depends on what kind of paper you're using or surface, how you personally like to work, and of course, your budget. So you might have heard that some people categorize pencils um, by saying they're either oil or wax based. Well, I don't really feel that's accurate. I like to categorize pencils from being soft to hard. Now, I find that the softer the lead of the colored pencil, the, the fatter it's going to lay down, um, the waxier it's going to be, uh, the creamier, and the more opaque. Okay? Then when you start to get to the medium towards the hard, the pencils lay down a lot leaner, they're a lot drier, and they're more translucent. What's nice about the soft pencils is that you don't have to put as much pressure. You can um, give your wrists and hands a break, and I like it a lot. But the amazing thing about the hard pencils is that they're better for fine details and fine lines. So I feel in your collection you should at least have one soft and one hard, medium hard. So, um, or have one soft, one medium, and one hard. Why not? <laughs> all right, so I'm not going to talk about all the pencils because when I did that, the video was way too long and I ran out of space on my phone. So I'm just going to talk about my favorites for tonight. So my favorite in the soft category, which is Color Soft, Durant Color Soft, and Prismacolor Premier. They're both very soft. I chose the Prismacolor Premier. I just think they're so creamy and pigmented. They blend super well. They come in a 150 pack, about 100 or so are light fast. I think they're, I think they're good. They do have some quality control issues. Um, some people say that the, the casing can sometimes crack or split. Other people say that the cores break often. And they are really soft, so you can't really press hard when you're doing, sharpening your pencil. Just very lightly twist it. The other thing... Um, that could happen is that you could get a bad batch so maybe um, the cores are broken because they are soft and you know if they got dropped on the floor or something the core could have broken so if you find that just one after the other is one broken core after another um, get a replacement from whatever, whatever company you bought it from or go straight to Prismacolor which I believe is owned by Rubbermaid in October 2017 alright but between the two I picked the Prismacolor Premier if I had a choice all right, so for the medium soft category, I chose Luminance as my favorite. This is by Karin Dosh. Luminance are known for their amazing light fast ratings. They come in a set of 76, although I think two of those are the Karin Dosh Blender, Bright Blender, Blender Bright, whatever they call it. So it's about 74 pencils that have really fantastic light fast ratings. I find them very creamy. Um, very pigmented. I love their colors. Um, I think they blend fantastic with other pencils. Some of the complaints are that they are chalky and gritty. I don't experience that, but I have heard people that, that feel that way, especially if they've been used to the Prismacolor pre premieres. My, my complaint is that you can't really read the color too well. I, I find that very difficult. The other thing is the price. These are the most expensive of all the colored pencils we're going to talk about today. So they are an investment. You might just want to get the white one or a few colors to try them out. I say the white one because the white one's a nice thick white, opaque white to um, blend with your other colored pencils. But if you can afford it and you're thinking about doing this professionally, having light fast pencils is fantastic because your uh, work will be less likely to fade over time. Okay, so the other ones in this category were the Lyra, the Rembrandt Polycolors, and the Museum Aquarelle. Now, the Museum Aquarelle are my favorite watercolor pencil. So they're just like pure watercolor. They have great light fast ratings. They come in a, a beautiful assortment of colors. They're very much like the Luminance, except for in watercolor form. Not exactly but they just dissolve gorgeously. I mean, just like watercolor. Um, the only complaint I've ever heard about these are that maybe they're a little too soft, and that, that would be if you use them dry. I love them dry. They're, they're soft, creamy, they blend well. But the biggest uh, 
unfortunately, complaint is that they are expensive. They're just a little bit less expensive than the luminance, but yeah, that's one of the reasons why I don't use them dry as much as I would like because they are expensive, but they are my favorite watercolor pencil, so they get a little star. Okay, okay, moving on to the medium, hard, uh, or just the medium, uh, I guess, uh, category. So my favorite is the Pablo, again, another Caran d'Ache. So the s colors are very similar to the Luminance. Um, they have more colors. It comes in 120. Um, let's see, out of those, about 85 are light fast. They're very, they lay down very thin, very evenly. They're great for blending with other pencils. Again, like I said, I like the colors. I really, really like this brand. I find it's good for your first layers, and then you can use a softer pencil on top. So that's all I'm going to say about the Pablo for now, it, oh, except for they do have a sister brand called Super, Super Color, which is basically the same pigments except they're water soluble. So the Super Color are great too. I just don't happen to own any, although I have tried them before. I just don't own a set, but they're good as well. Okay, so um, the other ones in this category were the Albert Durer, the Inktense, and the Utrecht Color or the Blick Studio. I believe that the Utrecht Color is now called the Blick Studio. Um, so out of all of those dry, the Pablo is my favorite. But I still want to give, um, let's give Albert Durer, you know, a little price too because I find that for the price, they're a really, really nice watercolor pencil as you can see how creamy they are. And they're actually pretty nice dry. So I think, you know, if you're on a strict budget and you want to get a dry color pencil and a watercolor pencil at the same time, then I would recommend the Albert Durer. And they come in a 120 set. They have good light fast ratings and you can use them wet or dry. So they definitely get some props. The ink tents I like wet. I just don't like them dry. They're a little crumbly and they don't have as good light fast ratings as some of the other uh, water soluble pencils. Okay, medium hard. My favorite, of course, is going to be the Faber Castell Polychromos. These are really famous. They have a kind of a translucent quality about them, which is really pretty. They lay down very lean, very evenly, but they are highly pigmented. If you press harder, you get some nice pigment there. They come in a 120 set. I think only like 13 aren't light fast. So their light fast ratings are really good. People love them. They're just a little bit harder for me. And I don't use solvent, and I know people that use them with solvent really like it. I just don't happen to use solvent, but I know these work really good with the odorless mineral spirits. I um, think, though, that this is the best in the category medium hard. They're hard enough that you can get some fine details with them, so they're a very versatile pencil. Um, I, if I would, if I, when I use them, I like to blend them with the creamier pencils. Um, I do my first layers with the polychromos, and then I end with a Prismacolor or a Luminance or something like that. They also work really well with the Pablos. They work well together, and the colors in the Pablo and the polychromos are different. Not all of them, but they have quite quite a few amount of different colors, so that's kind of cool. All right, the Coline Nor Progress Progresso Woodless. It's more like a student pencil. It, it comes in 24, a 24 set, not all are light fast, but if you're on a budget, they're great. You can get them at Aaron Brothers with a 50% off coupon for like $12, and um, they last forever because you do not have to sharpen them because they are woodless. All right, moving on to the hard category, I have Very Thin and Durant Artist. So I choose the Very Thin. Now, the Very Thin are also Prismacolors. Uh, the Prismacolor company, so it's the Prismacolor Very Thins, and I find that artists who have been using Prismacolor premieres for a long time use them with the Very Thins because you just can't get that fine detail with a soft and waxy pencil like the P Prismacolor Premier, but you can with the Very Thin. I think they come in a set, I want to say 36. I could be wrong. need to check that. Not all of them are light fast. Um, they're not also the easiest to sharpen, believe it or not, so you're going to have to kind of shop around for sharpeners that work with them really well. But they have a nice hard lead. They're great for fine detail. And some of the colors match the Prismacolor Premier, so they work really, really well together. So if you're looking for a hard pencil for detail, I would go for the Very Thins. Um, the other hard pencil in this category is the Durant Artist, which I just find are too hard and chalky for me, and their light fast ratings don't impress me too much. But some people have them and love them and do amazing work with them. So I, hey, if that's you, then, um, you know, that's, that's great. I haven't quite been able to figure them out. 
but um, I have seen beautiful work with them. Okay, so in closing, my favorite soft uh, color pencil is the Prismacolor Premier. My favorite medium soft pencil is the Luminance. My favorite medium, medium pencil is the Pablo. My favorite medium hard pencil is the Faber Castell Polychromos. And my favorite hard pencil is the Very Thin. Out of my watercolor pencils that I've used, the Museum Aquarelle is my number one. Um, the Albert Durer is really close second because of its great price and its versatility of using them wet and dry. And I think that's it. I don't want to make this video too long, so that's where I'm going to stop. But if you have any questions about anything that I talked about today, um, let me know. And like I said, if you only have money for one type of set, I would get the Albert Durer because you can use them wet and dry and they're more affordable than the Museum Aux Aquarelle. Um, or I would recommend if you're going to get something really, really soft, like the Prismacolor Premier, the Luminance, to also get something, get something hard, either the Very Thin or the Faber or the Faber Castell Polychromos. Um, even the Pablo would work, but so you can get some more fine detail. So it's always good to have a really soft pencil and then a little harder pencil as well. All right. Well, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. In the comment section, I'll put all the links to where you can get the pencils and the best prices, of course. And if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments. Anyways, thanks for listening, you guys. And if you like the video, like, share, comment, subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in the Colored Pencils for Beginners Facebook um, group. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.